Hello, I'm Bill LeMay and thank you for watching Community Matters. We hope you'll continue to watch as we discuss issues facing our community and provide you with the resources and information needed to find solutions. Two years ago, a community-led nonprofit partnered with Durham Public Schools to transform them for the success and equity for every student. With the pandemic, this support became even more crucial as school closures exposed gaps that needed to be filled to ensure all students are equipped to thrive. Joining us today is Megan Gonzalez-Smith, Executive Director of the Durham Public Schools Foundation. Megan, it's good to see you again. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much. It's great to be back with you. Well, let's start and talk a little bit about the foundation. Uh, I know it's relatively new. We talked about that last time you were on the program. Give us an overview, if you would. Yeah, absolutely. So the Durham Public Schools Foundation is a nonprofit that is fully independent from the school district. So our mission as the DPS Foundation is to catalyze big ideas and foster community engagement that will help accelerate the transformation of our Durham Public Schools to ensure success and equity for every student. The DPS Foundation does this by galvanizing community support, both financial and non-financial resources from across our community, and brings us together to invest in ensuring that every student in Durham Public Schools can thrive. DPS Foundation provides funds to support our public schools, but we do more than providing funds. We work directly with our students, our educators, our district leaders, and partners from across Durham to develop and pilot and scale innovative strategies and partnerships that will serve all students. That's a pretty big mission. How are you able to accomplish this? And maybe we could get into some specifics because a lot of the things that you are talking about not just in Durham, but it seemed to be uh, in public schools and have been for a long, long time, the equity particularly so. How are you going to do things differently that hasn't been done in the past? So Durham didn't have a local education foundation before we launched the DPS Foundation two years ago. And the community, as well as our, our school district, really saw the need for a community-rooted organization that spans support across our whole school district to bring together community resources to work arm in arm with our school district to support strengthening our schools for all students. So the DPS Foundation organizes our work in doing this around three priority areas that we really see as the three pillars for advancing this work. Those are one, fostering equity through innovation. Two, investing directly in our people, directly in the people who are in our schools. And three, really championing public education. So around fostering equity through innovation, we are engaging directly with our students, our educators, our families, as well as with other youth serving organizations and nonprofits across Durham to support Durham Public Schools in our shared goal of ensuring that 100% of DPS schools use a culturally responsive framework and approaches and have more equitable outcomes for our students as a result. So one example of this work, um, just one way that the DPS Foundation is supporting this type of work is through our Youth Advisory Council, which is a group of DPS students um, who are a leadership team of the DPS Foundation. And that group of students right now is working on organizing and hosting a Youth Equity Summit that is going to happen this fall and we'll be engaging with students across DPS about where our students see the greatest needs for changes to make their schools more equitable and really lifting up and creating space for their ideas about cr creating solutions um, for their school communities and making their school communities more equitable. Around investing in our people, when we say our people, we are talking about our students, our educators, and our families who make up DPS. And our goal with the foundation is that our students and educators and families are really empowered and have the resources that they need to lead meaningful changes to address the challenges they identify in their schools. 
So again, you know, we as the foundation are not here to come up with solutions for our schools. We're here to listen to, empower, and invest in our students and educators and families who we believe are best positioned to identify the types of things that are going to strengthen their school communities and for them to be the ones leading that work. So one example um, of how we do this um, is we have grant making that we do to um, students and teachers and family members can apply for funds from the DPS Foundation um, to implement new ideas in their schools and school communities that they have. Last year, we also launched a teacher leadership academy and we are working with 20 teachers in DPS and really working with them to develop their own conception of what teacher leadership means to them and how we can foster more teacher leadership across DPS. And then our third priority, championing public education, this is really looking outward in our community. So as our first two priorities are very much about bringing resources and support into our schools, championing public education is about looking outward in our community. We at the DPS Foundation believe that Durham is stronger and that every student is better prepared to thrive in a diverse community when our children are going to school together. We're working to provide resources for the Durham community to better understand our DPS schools, where our DPS schools are succeeding, where they have needs, and how we can all come together to support our schools. And we're engaging with prospective parents and helping them get information as they try to decide where to enroll in school so that we can hopefully be building a community where more and more we're all going to public school together. Well, Megan. You've done this now for, well, last year. Let's just go back to last year. We talked. We're almost out of time. Have you seen improvement? Are you, are you more excited because things are getting better? We do see improvement in our schools. And of course, right now, um, we're all struggling everywhere with uh, a completely different landscape um, and everything being turned upside down in our schools. So, you know, the type of work that we all envision doing this year and building on the types of successes that, that we were starting to see last year um, with many DPS schools um, really, really showing their strength and enrollment in our public schools going up. Um, we're all, you know, we're all now trying to tackle an entirely different set of challenges. Megan, thank you for what you're doing. And for folks who would like to get a hold of you or help, what's the best way to do that? Yeah, so folks can follow us on social media at Bull City Schools. And you can find out more on our website, bullcityschools.org. Well, thank you. And good to see you again. I wish good I were to outdoors too. It looks beautiful. Thanks, Megan. <laughs> Thanks so much. And don't you go anywhere, because when we come back, we'll talk more about what communities and businesses can do to fill the gaps. Mm -hmm.